Welcome back. The Chief of Naval Air Training, also known as Sinatra, has one main mission, and that is to train the best pilots in the world. Now, many of those Navy and Marine Corps pilots start out right here in Corpus Christi. For years, the department has had to rely on traditional forms of instruction, but a prototype program could now change all of that. Project Avenger is a virtual reality computer program that gives student pilots the opportunity to go digital. Super excited to see where this program goes. The first class of 19 students began their journey last September and completed training earlier this month. This one differs in the fact that whenever they go through their VR training, we introduce them to almost everything that they would do in the plane. They will do in the VR sims first. The Avengers were able to finish the course about a month earlier than traditional students. Lieutenant Jeffrey Pence was one of seven officers in charge of the class. We can speed up the process in the aircraft and their actual useful amount of training they get out of the aircraft goes up from day one. The VR simulator mimics the control and maneuvers of the Navy's T-6 trainer planes. They're the ones often seen over the skies of South Texas, taking off from Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. It puts the user in the cockpit and gives them a real world view of landmarks and locations, not only across the coastal bend, but across the globe. I, I seen them do different stuff in these VRs. I didn't even think they would. They started asking for more difficult stuff. Uh, you can also practice different maneuvers in the VR. You can do uh, loops, uh, barrel rolls. You can do a whole bunch of stalls. Basically everything that you would do in the actual plane you can do in the simulator here. Ensign Miles Whitlow from Alabama was one of the students in the first test group. He went through the Naval Academy and is now following in his father's footsteps of becoming a pilot. I got a chance to fly in a trainer jet uh, my junior year in college and that right there sold it for me and I said I want to go aviation and I want to fly. Whitlow says it was a unique learning experience for both he and his fellow classmates. In the beginning we were all like kind of nervous and kind of confused because it was an unknown unknown uh, thing that we were doing no one's done it before. Once students get familiar with the controls in the virtual reality machine they move on to much bigger flight simulators all of them housed here at NAS Corpus Christi. Inside, future pilots get a feel for what it's like to be in the cockpit. When you move into the traditional sims, those are built for their actual physical actions of how to fly the aircraft. Of course, the next step is to take flight in one of the training planes. After completing the first course, students move on to more advanced training in a specialized aviation category. And, well, that could include anything from flying helicopters to jets. Project Avenger actually gets its name from the plane that was flown by former President George H.W. Bush, who earned his wings of gold at NAS Corpus Christi back in 1943. The training program at Sinatra hasn't seen any significant changes in over 50 years. And as technology advances, so do the applications for our everyday world. Times are changing, so uh, we have to change as well to so stay ahead of the power curve. Uh, I think that, you know, just implementing something like this uh, would better us for the future uh, in the fleet. There's obviously a double-edged sword when you try to push too far too fast, but taking technology that we know is valid and able to use that to increase training and increase the skill sets that these students are going to get out and face the world with is absolutely vital. Project Avenger is only available for student pilots in Corpus Christi, although there are plans in the works to roll it out to the training wing in Florida.